folks, I'm back. Um, right now we're in the beginning of Hurricane Irene. Um, looking out my window, the trees are blowing, uh, the rain is falling. So it seems like it's going to be getting pretty nasty pretty quick uh, as the night goes on. So, um, I figure I'm not going to be doing too much fishing uh, for a little while, so just keep tying. I'm going to sit down at the device tonight and pound out a couple nymphs. Um, when the water finally does come back down uh, to at least manageable levels, um, it's going to be time to throw some streamers and throw some big nymph rigs. So uh, tonight I'm just going to show you how to tie a real easy, um, effective little nymph. Uh, it's basically just a, a pheasant tail, uh, a couple small changes. Um, like I said, nothing fancy, uh, but it's easy to tie, uh, a little bit more durable than a traditional pheasant tail in my opinion. And I catch a ton of fish on it, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And, uh, you know, hope everyone stays safe during the middle of this storm because it's getting nasty from what I understand. And, uh, a lot of places around the country, so good luck out there uh, in the storm, and good luck on the stream when the uh, when we finally can start fishing again. Okay, so for the hook, we're tying on a Tiemco 2457. Uh, this is a size 14. Uh, you can tie this from about a 10 or a 12 down to a 22, 24. Uh, you know, really, just pretty much any size you'd like to tie this in. Um, really easy pattern to tie in the smaller sizes, so it's, that's really nice to be able to have that ability to tie uh, tie some nymphs in those smaller sizes like that. Um, for the bead, we're just using, today we're just using a regular brass uh, Cyclops bead. This is 7 64ths, 7 64ths. Uh, it's a copper bead. Um, I use both tungsten and brass. Uh, we're just using a brass bead right now because I have plenty in tungsten already. Uh, it's a good, good idea to tie them in both. Um, you know, kind of allows you to cover a little bit more of the water column. Uh, but you know, it's really up to you, uh, whichever you prefer. Uh, for uh, our extra weight, we're going to be tying with some lead wire. This is 15 thousandths uh, lead wire. Uh, our body is just going to be some pheasant tail, just some uh, natural pheasant tail. You can tie this, you know, an olive or red or orange dyed pheasant tail. Um, I tie it in all those colors, but you know, mainly pheasant, just a traditional natural pheasant tail is always a good standby color. Uh, our rib is just going to be some copper wire, as you can kind of see there, just got a little strip of it ready. Um, that's just going to be in small or brassy, depending upon what size you're tying in, or even extra small if you're tying in that really small stuff and you like that. Uh, and as opposed to a traditional pheasant tail, um, we're going to be using some peacock ice dub. Uh, anybody that watches you know, enough of my videos, you'll realize that I use a lot of ice dub. I absolutely love the stuff. Uh, has a lot of different uh, awesome applications, so definitely, um, you know, something I would recommend try, trying to, to use and to tie with. Okay, so we're going to take some zap gap here. Just take a little, if I can just open this thing. There we go. Uh, so we're just going to put a little tiny dab of zap gap right on there, right on the hook. Um, it's going to keep that lead wire from sliding around. Is this necessary? No. Do I like to do it? Yes. So that's good enough for me. Um, so, you know, about 10 or so wraps maybe. Um, you know, just like that. Get it up to behind the bead. Uh, break it and break on that side. And press down any excess like that. So you get a nice smooth uh, lead wire underbody like that. Now we're going to start our thread right behind the bead. Uh, and just wrap back over that lead wire down to the bend of the hook. We are going to cut our thread and then I like to build kind of a little bit of a thread ramp right here to kind of keep a nice smooth underbody. Um, as you can see, I mean, there's a lot of weight on this fly right now, and uh, you know, especially if you use this with a tungsten bead head, it's nice that you can really get down deep without having to put a whole bunch of extra split shot or anything on there just using a simple little fly like this. Next we're going to grab some of our pheasant tail. Um, I prefer to just you know stroke off about five or six strands of pheasant tail and then just pull it right off the stem 
so it just kind of pops right off like that. Then what you're going to do is get those tips evened up and tie them in so that they're you to measure them so they're right about a half a shank length and we're going to tie them in right at the base of the fly just a few wraps right on top of each other keep that tie in area small and neat then you're going to grab your copper wire you said this is just small wire so you're just going to tie that in I like to run it up the side of the fly there so it keep again with that even and smooth underbody so you don't have any bumps or anything like that and you know just give it one more good kind of run with the thread make sure you got you know a pretty nice even underbody it looks a little weird with the uh, angle of the offset hook there as you can kind of see but it is smooth um, so next you're just going to uh, wrap that pheasant tail forward nice thing about a true rotary like my Renzetti here is that you can just grab it and spin it to the front uh, so I like to get right behind the bead uh, leave a little bit of space right there and just tie off All right and trim that and leaving that little bit of space there allows us to build uh, put up put our you know iced up collar on there without having this you know huge bulky mess so now you're going to counter rib uh, the wire through there so uh, we wrapped the pheasant tail like this in this manner so we're going to wrap the wire in the opposite direction that adds a lot of durability to the fly so we, if, if and really just when that pheasant tail breaks it's the one thing with this material that's not super durable um, you're not going to have the whole thing unravel because you have the wire wrapped in the opposite direction so it adds a lot of strength and durability to, durability to the fly so get up behind the bead with the wire, tie that off, and we're going to do my little spin and break trick that I love to use. So as you can see, you've got a nice little tail, you've got the actual uh, body of the fly, and now we're going to grab a little bit of peacock ice stub, and just a little bit, and take a little pinch of this, and wrap this on to our thread. We're going to just it's a dub, you know, a decent little amount here, nothing huge. Just keep it thin and even, and then we're just going to wrap ourselves a nice little peacock iced up collar here. And the nice thing about this stuff is, you know, like you said, I, I, I like durable and easy flies, and with the peacock iced up, it really is a lot more durable than peacock curl. So now you're just going to whip finish right behind the bead. and you're ready to rock. Trim your thread and then um, you know you can kinda tease that ice stub out a little bit somewhere sitting in front of me I have there we go I have a little piece of velcro that I like to use for this exact purpose it's literally just a piece of adhesive velcro folded over itself you can put it on a peg or I like to just use it like this it allows me to kind of bend it uh, and you know do a little bit more with it just kind of just uh, scrub out a little bit of that ice tub and it gives you a nice buggy looking collar and there you have it a uh, completed little ice tub pheasant tail like I said there's really very few differences between this and the original pattern um, you can add a wing case um, using traditional you know the pheasant tail uh, like the traditional pattern calls for or you can just throw some uh, holographic mylar tinsel or something over the back a lot of times I just fish it like this in the round as they say it's the same on all sides so uh, you know like you said really effective and easy little pattern uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, good luck out there